Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I've posted previously, and as many of you do know, um, after Google Chrome version 99 rolled out for desktop, and currently we are on version 102, but when um, version 99 rolled out, Google introduced um, after that update a new feature uh, called the site panel, which they introduced with a server site update, which I did post on. And uh, um, basically it adds a square icon to the top right of the toolbar, show site panel, and you can add your reading list and your bookmarks in the site panel. And then you can hide that site panel. Now, when Google introduced this new site panel, there was a lot of comments and feedback, even on this channel, um, that some users um, were considering this to be bloatware and clutter, and obviously um, that's understandable. And uh, um, I then posted a video after the feature rolled out. This was the video, how to disable the new site panel in Google Chrome. And I posted that shortly after uh, that option was rolled out by Google. And I don't know if you can pick it up in the video, but um, this is just a screen capture of that video where uh, you could um, enter into the flags, the Chrome flags site panel, and it would bring up the actual site panel flag that you can you could disable that would remove that site panel option. And I did post that video, how to disable uh, the new site panel in Google Chrome, which a lot of users found handy as if you disabled that flag, it would remove that option. Now, um, unfortunately, um, recently though, it looks like now um, uh, in recent updates to the browser that Google has now removed that flag and you are now um, unable to disable the site panel. And my reason for this video is I've been getting a lot of questions over the last couple of days from users saying when they have gone to um, uh, this video that the option is not available anymore and they are asking how do you disable the site panel. Now, uh, first first of all, you must just remember that um, flags are not options, they are experiments. So if we head to chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, it says experiments. So these are not options, they are experiments. And Google can uh, include experiments and uh, which can be enabled using flags and they can also remove experiments and take those and remove those flags. So it's very common when Google is experimenting with different flags that those flags can come and go and can be removed by Google. So that's the reason why you cannot disable that site panel anymore because Google has removed the flag. So I thought I'd just make this video just to keep everybody up to speed and in the loop and just to give you a heads up. And at this stage, if you type in site panel, and I'm just going to do that quickly. Uh, you can see uh, that we have a whole lot of other little site panel flags to do with the site panel, but there is no actual site panel enable site panel or any flag that you can disable now as mentioned in that previous video where we had that site panel flag that has been removed so the option to disable that now has been removed by google as as mentioned flags are not options they are experiments and at this stage it's very hard to say if google will roll out a toggle a switch or an option to enable or disable the site panel in future versions of the browser and my personal take on that though is that um, the site panel is yet to stay and I personally don't think that Google will um, roll out an option to disable it as a default option in future versions of the browser so I just want to let you know that that flag has uh, been removed and that's the reason uh, why you cannot disable that option anymore so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one